gorgeous. Oh, it looks good on this side. I like them on this side. That's how much you get. Hey guys, so in today's video, I am testing out a bunch of Hourglass products. It's been a bunch that I've been wanting to test out, especially considering the new holiday collection just looked so pretty. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to show you how it applies. Let's get into this video. So the first product is the fluid makeup. So I've already tried out a Hourglass foundation, so I thought I'd try this one. This one I could only get in porcelain. I'm pretty sure that's the fairest that it went. It's a little dark. I used it for the first time in my Robert Welsh dedicated video, so I will link that here. See how much darker it is. It's very like yellow. But it applies nicely. It is like a more medium coverage. I've already put a little bit of setting spray on because I always tend to dry my face with a setting spray. I have a lot of pigmentation at the moment, so I'm not holding that against it. No, I don't have as much pigmentation here. But that's kind of half and half. Very liquidy foundation. I was almost tempted, um, because I saw it in TK Maxx, I was so tempted to try uh, the liquid version of the Vanish. I heard it's like, it can be really difficult. I don't want to put on like layers and layers and layers of this because it is like oil based and I do have oily skin so that, let's be honest this foundation isn't really for me. The tone of it's more yellow than I am obviously because I'm more neutral to pink. It does look really nice. If you want something more light coverage I think it looks really nice. So the next thing is the retouching liquid. When this first came out considering I always have the problem where I wear my glasses and I'll get the little indentations on my nose. I thought this could be perfect for me. Because apparently this goes over powder amazing. Um, so maybe I'll have to try that in the future. I got the shade Vanilla. Because again, I think this was the lightest shade. Or it was the lightest shade they had. I have like really dark circles at the moment. Put in a little bit more on here and then just some on my blemishes. I've been using a fluffy brush to blend out my concealer, as I've mentioned in my natural makeup. So I actually think that's a really good method with this concealer because it is a little bit more liquidy. Look how good that looks. A little bit more light. It's not super full coverage. I can imagine if they were to bring out a Vanish concealer like the Vanish Stick Foundation, it would be super full coverage. But I wanted to try this. So just blend this out and see how it does. It's not the most full coverage. Because I've got a nice ring light, um, it is bouncing off of here, so it doesn't look as bad, I think. And it doesn't look terrible in person. Like, if you're going for a natural kind of look, my under eyes look fine. I'm gonna set my under eyes, and then we will get into veil powder, because this is very interesting. I've got hair over everything. So next is the little veil powder. I really, really wanted to try this out. I remember swatching this in store, and it did have, like, a sheen. When it was, like, a really big pot, I knew I'd probably never end up using it. But I thought, love to just try it out, even like, cause swatching a powder is never gonna do it justice. It is more yellow toned than I would expect for a translucent powder, but I'll do one half of my face and then you can kind of see what the difference is. I'm gonna powder a lot because I always powder a lot. This is with nothing. I don't see a huge sheen or anything. Let me powder the rest of my face. The thing about loose powders is that I end up getting all over me. It's impossible to see on camera, so I don't think I'm going to show you guys. It does like, it looks a little bit kind of smoothing. Slightly brightening actually. I can't see that it's the best powder anyone's ever tried. Maybe for dry skin because maybe, you, because it has that kind of brightening effect. It looks better on dry pe people's skin, but for me, I don't see a huge difference. Next is this. So this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. Um, I was kind of tempted to get the bigger one, but I knew I probably wouldn't necessarily use it that often. This comes with a highlighter, blush, bronzer, and some sort of kind of finishing powder. The finishing powder. I've been using this more kind of in the places where you highlight on your forehead, but you don't really want a metallic highlighter. Just to make you look a little bit more youthful and glowy. The bronzer, like, I always use kind of brushes like this, kind of more fluffy brushes, and trying to get that into this tiny square is a pain in the neck like squeezing it to try and get it in. See, because I can't really get my brush in there, it takes me ages. Like, it's a nice bronzer. I'm not saying it's a bad bronzer at all. I feel like I would have an even worse time trying to get 
a bronzer from like the six pan like if it's directly in the middle and it has one on either side i feel like that would be such a pain in the ass i just find it so frustrating like i've had i have to dig in here so many times and i don't normally have to do that with bronzers because i can just kind of really load up my brush and personally i find it kind of frustrating they're very very pretty products nice blends nicely it looks nice on the face because it kind of has that slight glow to it. I'm just blending that out a little bit. I'll do contour and then I'll be back for highlight and blush. I am dropping everything. So now we get into the blush and the highlight. So I'm going to use the highlight first because I always do highlight first. So this highlight, as you can kind of see in the pan, it's very metallic. It's really, really gorgeous. really enjoy it. I'm using a really random uh, eyeshadow brush because my current highlighter brush has so much highlight in it I don't think it would be fair to show you guys because you wouldn't see the real colour. Look how wet! It looks amazing. I've always heard that, you know, the highlights were great in these palettes and I already have a kind of ambient metallic strobe lighting highlighter palette so I al always knew that it was going to be really really pretty. Very metallic. Gorgeous. The blush. The blush isn't my favourite kind of colour but it is it is a pretty blush if i'm doing this and accidentally dipping into like the highlight i want a highlight near my bronzer the other powder's not too bad because obviously it's a finishing powder so like if you accidentally dip into that it's not too bad but if i dip into the other one that is the bronzer blush and highlight they're really pretty i just i don't know this is too small for me i need to show you one of the things I was most excited about, which is the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I saw Kathleen Lights do like a slow-mo of this on her Instagram. It is one of the finest sprays I've ever seen in my life. It is the finest mist it doesn't taste great if you have a chance to try this out i think there's about that much left i had to literally put it away because i was using way too much of it and it's expensive but i love it i would definitely 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 repurchase this so the caution mascara it comes in similar kind of packaging which is triangular to the vanish hourglass stick foundation i got this as a freebie so it doesn't actually come this small but i just figured we may as well try it i mean i've got a Free sample so this is what the applicator looks like it's not as fluffy as i like i like like really fluffy looking applicators i will say this is so close to my eye because this thing is so small so i have really short lashes on this corner so i accidentally pulled some out when i was curling my lashes a couple of days ago so please don't read into that <laughs> that the mascara is just not doing a good job in this corner because it was never going to. Now go back. There's a little bit of a wetter formula. A little bit clumpy. It lengthens nicely. It's quite separating. That's about one coat. It's nice. It's a nice mascara. Is it doing as much the price point not yet but we will put on another coat give me a lot of length definitely grouping my lashes oh it looks good on this side i like them on this side so on the second coat it's definitely giving me a lot more lashes on the top and on the bottom although this one is definitely grouping them more i'm not sure what's going on with that considering this side looks pretty good it's a nice mascara you get it as a freebie i think you'll be i think you'll be happy with it considering the amount of other mascaras i have it's basically exactly the same thing it's not wowing me for the price unfortunately so i just put a colourpop lip liner on this is the shade ashton oh, such a gorgeous cool tone i'm so glad cool tones are coming back in style because i love cool tones so the confession ultra slim high intensity refillable lipstick and every time look how sleek this packaging is it's so pretty i have yet to try this because it's a lipstick bullet and I can't go 
anywhere. Oh, you don't get much, do you? Wow. That is all you get. And there's no refill in this one. There's not one in here, because it wouldn't be. That's how much you get? That's ridiculous. Look how small that is. That's not even the whole bullet. If you were getting this much, I wouldn't be so pissed. What the fuck? It's a really pl pretty looking colour. I can't wait to put it on. Okay. <laughs> this better be good. It's not as creamy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a little bit creamier. It's nice. It's a nice colour. I like the packaging. I know with like hourglass and places like that, I do pay a lot for the packaging. Similar to Pat McGrath. I get it. I think the amount of product you get is ridiculous for this. I need to look up how much a refill is. Oh my god. Is that how much I spent? <laughs> This was £47. I'm pretty sure when I bought the stuff, there was like some sort of 20% discount offer thing going on. A refill is £22. This thing, at full price, is £47. Love the colour. It's comfortable. Do not recommend. Way more lipsticks. Even high-end lipsticks that are more worth the money. Hey guys, so, don't mind my hair because I just got off a three hour stream on Twitch and I had my headphones on. I just wanted to show you what the makeup looked like seven hours later. I have changed my lip because obviously I've been eating, etc. This has creased, but I was kind of expecting that. I've been wearing my glasses while I was streaming, so that's why I've got marks. The mascara. Looks pretty good. Looks as, as I'd expect, to be honest. It hasn't fallen. It's been seven hours. I flaked a little bit. I've got a couple, like, flakes, I think, under here. There's something on this side. I rubbed off around my nose, but I blow my nose constantly. Like, that's expected. But now I've COVID, I just have a very sensitive nose. Um, everything else looks really nice. The foundation, considering it's more, more slightly liquid oil-based, it seems like foundation, it does really well on my skin. Highlight and bronzer blush situation. Bronzer and blush are kind of gone. Highlight's still there, but the bronzer and blush are gone. Something I'm really kind of frustrated with about Hourglass. Just don't cater for every skin tone. At the moment on their website, they've got, oh, our sheer glow trio or whatever, which is their cream, bronzer, blush, and highlight. They've got that in one shade. They have that for a light to medium, and then they should have a medium to deep at the minimum, but they don't. Because I think that's like the sunset. Have a sunrise for deeper skin tones. It's not difficult. By not catering to deeper skin tones, you're doing yourself an injustice because they're not going to want to use you for anything else. You are not an inclusive brand. So that's going to make a lot of people think, I don't want to be using an uninclusive brand. There are things I love from Hourglass. Their highlights, their setting spray. There are things that are just way too expensive and just ridiculous like lipstick. They're nice products. I don't think any of them are terrible, but just... Use your money wisely. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'd really, really appreciate it. I still try to do my makeup videos at least once a week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.